Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time I'm going to take a look at this, the JD Humanoid Robot, which has been sent to me for review by my friends at Easy Robot. Now, what this is, is a modular kit for building a humanoid robot, which you can then control and program over Wi-Fi using either a PC or a tablet. So let's go and take a closer look. Right, so here we have our JD Humanoid Robot Kit, otherwise known as the Revolution JD. So it's time to get inside. I've got standing a knife available, but I think all I've got to basically do is get rid of this uh, cellophane. Uh, actually, maybe we'll let stand. No, 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 we don't need standing a knife. We can just somehow do that. There we are. And uh, crinkle, crinkle is all finished. And hopefully now we just... Uh, Open up the box, the top comes off, oh, it's exciting, the anticipation. And uh, there we are, look, this is uh, the uh, the kit. There is a, a sticker, always oh, good to have a sticker. And there's a start here guide, well, you'd hope to have one of those. But as you can see, these are all the parts of the robot. So what do we have here? Well, I think we have the robot's uh, body, which is the, clearly the, the middle of the machine. Uh, on off switch there, the, uh, the batteries inside there as far as I understand it. And fitting into that, we have the uh, Easy Robots Controller, the Easy B Robot Controller. This is a bit like the, uh, the Raspberry Pi, the Arduino of this system. This has got all the uh, intelligence inside it, receives signals by Wi-Fi and controls all of the servers. That fits into the body. We've also got, uh, what else is in here? The, uh, the head. This is a robot head. Oh, hello, little robot head. Uh, this is a nice little head. It's got servos for the neck here, so it can uh, look around and uh, move up and down and nod and things. And it's got a camera, and it's got LEDs, multicolor LEDs in the eyes, so it can uh, show you its expressions and things. What else have we got here? We've got uh, a couple of feet, which have got servos at the ankle, and what would be the, the knee, effectively. That looks like it all works very nicely, and another foot obviously over here. Gonna have two feet for a robot. Very, very solid pieces these are. Um, what else have we got here? We've got um, lots of bits. I'm looking for the, are those the, oh these are, these will make, I think, ah, oh, that's what I was looking for. These are the, the hands, little um, grips here, look. These will work on the ends of the arms to, uh, to grip things. Bit of foam inside there so they can actually open up and uh, grip things like my finger, ah, things like that doesn't really hurt, of course. So there we are, and so I think the final things we've got to show you are the other bits I was just getting one out of. There's six of these. These actually make up the, uh, the upper leg, they go on something like this, and they also are used in the arm, two of these in, in each arm. So those are all the different parts we have of the robot. And I think finally over here we have I would guess this is the charger. Yes, this is obviously oh, all the uh, adapters and things for the charger, normal different plug things there, and the charger itself, which we use to, to charge the robot. So there's all the different bits of the Easy Robot Kit. Looks uh, very easy to put together. So I think it's high time we did some construction. So it's now time to put all of our parts together, and I've got them all here, as you can see, and for the first time in 150 videos, I've decided to work on a non-white surface. I'm working on a grey surface because these are white parts. Isn't that extraordinary? Who knows, in a future video, I might even wear a non-black shirt. That, that's just not possible, is it? We can't go that far. Anyway, these parts are ready to put together. The ones that are parts I haven't shown you previously that were at the bottom of the box are these, which are cable ties, which will need to neaten things up right at the end. If you're wondering how do you know how to put the robot together, what you do is you download a piece of software called Easy Builder, which you'll use to control and program your robot later on, and it includes these pictorial assembly instructions. This really is incredibly well thought out. So we start with the robot's body, which we just flick over like that, and the robot controller just drops in the back, I think, and uh, there we are, that is fitted. And then we have to fit the servo wires on this unit, which is the shoulder things on the sides, um, the left one, Labelled uh, L there, I think, goes on to port uh, D3, like that. So I can continue through like this with the robot construction. Right, 
And uh, there we are. I've now put together the whole robot. I uh, know how uh, Anakin Skywalker felt when he'd just put together 3PO, I think. This is a uh, quite a, re a remarkable thing, isn't it? Oh, look, his little head's there. So um, there we are. Not quite frameless to get the whole robot in. The last thing I need to do, of course, is to clean up the wiring at the back, which isn't quite neat yet. It's about as neat as the wires inside my main PC. So I need to do some work with the uh, cable ties. And uh, when I've done that by the magic of filmmaking, we can put the robot down in a nice little set where we can try it out. Right, well here we are in the Easy Builder software that provides all kinds of ways of controlling the JD Humanoid robot. And since I saw you last, I've connected the robot to his computer using Wi-Fi, and I've also gone through a process of calibration to calibrate its servos so they're all in the right neutral position when the robot's in a neutral position. If you're wondering how you do all this, there's some fantastic videos made available by Easy Robot which show you how to do all these things so it's all very well explained online. But what you want to see right now is the robot actually moving. So there it is there, and there's various ways to do that. The simplest is to use this little control panel so I can move the robot forward to make it walk. I'll stop it there because I'll run out of uh, set. Let's take it back again. And there it is, it's had a little walk. Now that's all very well, that's very exciting, but you can also program the robot to do different things. And the way you do this is by setting the robot to take particular positions, what they call frames, and then using those frames to produce actions. So at the moment, we could say put it back to its calibrate position, which is just to do a, like that. But we could also do something more exciting. I think down here there's some nice little uh, dance move. We've got YMCA that we can go to uh, A, and we can take it to uh, C. And we can take it to M, and we can take it to Y. I could play with that all day. But of course, actions are even more exciting. So here, for example, is the gorilla action. Let's execute that. Which is a very clever, isn't it? Now, there's also things here that I find absolutely amazing the robot can do. And we can make the robot to sit down, for example. Let's make it sit down. There we are. That's a difficult thing for a robot to do, and it's done it very well indeed. And uh, you can also stand up again, which I think is even more amazing. We can stand from sit. That shows some brilliant mechanical design, I think, in, in making this product. Now, you might be wondering, what if you want to do things that aren't here? Well, that's fine. You just go into the little control there. And you can see all the different uh, frames we've had here now there. And we can go to a particular frame. There's one using a microphone look. And uh, different frames are here. What have we got? Uh, all sorts of things. As a, what should we use? Uh, jump jack one, there he is. And if we want to change that position, we could go to any of the servos and actually move them around. That's not a very exciting one, is it? Let's do something a bit more. Obvious, that's moving his arm look. We could move those around and then we could save that and we would have changed that particular frame. Let's, let's move his head as well. I think it's that one. That's head up and down and that's clearly head twisting. Yes, that's, that's very exciting. Now for actions, actions are made up of frames. So if we look at particular actions here, let's say there's a gorilla we saw earlier and you can see this is how the gorilla actually works. And you could click on individual parts of that and again you could look at the actual means it's all been set up. So you can actually if you spend a bit of time with this, program all kinds of different actions yourself. And I say so I love the way this works. One of the ones that's absolutely amazing is the, the handstand. So let's make the thing do a headstand. There it is. Look, we'll click on that. That's clever, isn't it? So uh, one of these I really like, just want to show you a final one of these in this section. What about thinking? Thinking is really cool. Right, here we are back in Easy Builder, and I want to show you some of the other windows, the other controls you can use with the JD Humanoid robot. 
For a start, you might have noticed the robot's eyes have changed color since we saw him last. Here is the RGB animator. You can do all kinds of things with his eyes. We execute the expressions there. He will cycle through all sorts of things, which is very exciting. You can change, well, obviously the colors, the expressions. Oh, it looks a bit unhappy, doesn't it? Hopefully I'll come back to something looking, uh, that's okay, we'll leave that about there. I think we'll stop on that. But uh, other things we've got here, we can play a MP3 files through the soundboard on the robot. We can control it through a Wii controller, apparently. But uh, you'll probably be most interested to see that we've actually got the camera here displaying in, in this window. And using the camera, the robot can track colors or faces or motions, all kinds of things, lots of really big possibilities there. We've also got other workspaces. Here's one I've got opened up where you can see the camera view and we've got some controllers to walk the robot around or just to move the robot's head. So I can move around and, uh, uh, oh, there's me. Hello, I'll say hello to the robot. That's exciting. You can see the camera looking at the robot there and uh, his own box is there. That's, that's very exciting, isn't it? We've also got here Robo Scratch, so you can do some programming using, using that. So we could add, say, an action. Don't know what action we want. Maybe, uh, I don't know, um, Happy hands might be nice given the tight shot we've got here. Let's have happy hands for, I don't know, four seconds. And let's follow that with, I don't know, what should we have? Uh, oh, I like the gorilla, didn't I? Let's have the gorilla on the end of that. So these link together as they do in Scratch so you can build up your program graphically. Although you can also edit the source code and do proper programming here if you want to. But let's, uh, to finish this section, just execute this code. The JD Humanoid from Easy Robot is a great product for anybody who wants to learn about or experiment with robotics. In this video, we've seen just a fraction of what it can do, and therefore I suspect I'll return to my new robot friend in a future video. But now that's it for this time. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.